Nancy, but she's got yarn. How's everybody doing? I'm doing good. I um got a good report at the doctor's office. I feel like I go to the doctor's every day. It just feels like that, but I'm doing okay. Um, what else? I'm just giving you a health update. Dentist appointment tomorrow. I'm getting cavity filled. And what else? I have a yarn haul. But before I show you the yarn haul, I just want to let you know, I started my cardigan over. So this isn't it. I ha I'm going to frog this. But yeah, it just, it, it looks wonky. I want it to look right. And you know what I'm doing? I'm crocheting them. Granny clusters the right way. The right way. And I am referencing on this. I, it's all coming back to me. It's because I did it wrong the first time. You but, know? It's coming along. I'm not going to show that to you tonight. I want to share with you. My couch is a hot mess. I have yarn everywhere. If you watched my last video, towards the end, I talked about possibly doing a market. My husband's cousin really, 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 really wants me to do it. And I'm just kind of, I don't know if I just need to do it. And whatever I make, I'll just donate to Boggy Creek. I don't know yet. Um, my husband doesn't agree with that. He's like, you're going to make all those things with that yarn. You need to sell them. You need to put it back into your your channel. So he does have a point. So we'll see. I had a whole other idea. But every now and then I listen to him. <laughs> Not all the time. But anyways, let me get to my yarn haul. But before I do, I'm going to show you. This is what I've been working on today. I'm... I've been researching amigurumis. I haven't reached out to Anita Yarn Overhook. I need to. I need to research her. Her. I need to go on Etsy. I, I wonder if her patterns patterns are on Etsy, but I'm getting ideas by watching other people that are marketing. But I'm going to be doing a fall market, so I probably need to have Halloween stuff and Christmas stuff. But I may still have other, you know, Amy's, you know, a cow, a pig, an otter, you know, those kinds of things. A chicken. Um, I know there's there's a couple, back, uh, not bag a day, um, Jennifer over at Cinnamon Stitches. Um, she has a chicken tutorial. So I'm... I'm going to use that, but there is another, I was watching somebody make, her name is um, Katie B Creations, but um, she has like a miniature chicken she made. I watched her make it, and I want to do that. They're, they're little hens, which I think are adorable, but there's, she, she gave me all kinds of um, ideas, and then Alyssa, Alyssa it's A- L L Y S A Alyssa It's a it's a weird name. It's not weird. I don't mean it in a bad way. I need to link it. That's what I need to do. I need to write that down. I do actually have a pen and a pencil next to me cuz I've been taking notes. Now where did my pencil go? <laughs> Here it is. So, Katie B and Alyssa. I'll put their channels. I'll link them in my um, description box. But they do Amy's, and I'll link um, Anita over at Yarn Overhook. Um, she does Amy's, but they've given me some great ideas, little things, a bunch of little things. Um, Tim's cousin told me she goes, "You need to make a bunch of little things." You know, and she says that they don't have anybody with crochet. And she goes, please, she's asked me for the past couple of years because she's in charge of it. So I want to see what I can make. I want to see what I can make big, not big, but medium size. I want to see how long it takes me. And I want to see 
um, my stamina making the small amigurumis. I have all the yarn that I have bought, all those parfait yarns. What's crazy is you can't find um, Teddy Bear Brown anywhere. Somebody's hoarding it in all the baby blue. I did go on Timu and I found some brown. And um, I have some, like, it's not Teddy Bear Brown, but it's like a toffee. So, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't have teddy bears on my list, but I do have a beaver that's a dark brown, and I have dark brown yarn, dark, dark brown, so I don't know. Then I have a brown that's kind of a red tint, but anyways, I have an assortment of parfait and snuggle yarn, so I, uh, I've been collecting it, and then I bought some Hershner's, um, it's like parfait. It comes in cakes, but there's only so many colors, but they're pretty colors. So it's got like a pink, uh, kind of a, it's a green, but it's not a, like a plant green. It's a lighter green, purple, teal, white, black. That's all I can see from here. But there's a bunch of colors, so I'll have that to use. Um, I'm working on this this octopus. You guys can't see the the pattern, but anyways, is he not stinking cute? Why do they put the pattern? It's a Yarnspirations pattern. Look at his eyes. He looks mean. <laughs> but I got this much done. In what time is it? Oh God! This much done in three hours, but with many interruptions. I ate, I ate, then I got up and fed the dogs. I watched videos, and I I can double crochet without looking constantly, but single crochet, I'm not. I'm not that fast at because I don't do it a lot, but I'm sure after this I'll get really good at it. I don't have the muscle memory as, as intense as I do with the double crochet. So, but but I think it's gonna be adorable. It's gonna be orange. And I think I'm gonna do underneath because I live in gator country. Well, no, it's gonna be Halloween. So maybe I'll make it orange and black. Yeah, I'll use black. Cause I got it. Yeah. So, yeah, so everything, everything black, I'm going to do all the black and the eyes. You can't see the eye that well, can you? Can you see it now? They're really cute eyes and they got lit eyelids, but the bottom of it's black. You repeat everything you do on the tentacles, you repeat it in black underneath. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> I gotta go backwards. I gotta do the pattern backwards, which is interesting, but that's okay. And again, how do I make the um, slip stitch on each row? How do I make, I did it in the back loop and it still looks yucky, but this yarn, it's, it's not easy to work with. Oh, I'm not used to working with parfait yarn, but what did I do wrong? <laughs> Am I supposed to turn? No, I got a slip stitch and keep going around is what it wants me to do. But, the, you know, it's head. I guess it might look better once, once I get st stuffing in it. But I used a number five. I, I, well, you know why it's taking me so long? I got to here using a number six hook and it was going to have big holes. So I frogged it. It's my motto, but I can't wait to finish it. It's really cute. Hopefully I'll be done tomorrow with it. That's my goal. And then I'm gonna start working on like little things. I would love to show you guys. I'm gonna make snow cone and some pie. I think that would be cute. And then 
They have a giraffe. I'm not crazy about the giraffe. I don't want to do the giraffe. I want to do things that are easy. I bought this book for the octopus. Mainly. <laughs> Excuse me. It does have a velvet valentine teddy bear. I, I, I like the broccoli. And oh, there's the beaver that I want to make. <laughs> Is he not cute? I used to have beaver teeth. <laughs> and it's got like a crab. And I like the crab. There's a crab right there. I like that crab. I'm not crazy about that. But yeah, those are the patterns. There are, what are these? Does anybody know? Are, they're not tough. They're not Teletubbies. Teletubbies, did they have one eye? I can't remember. It might be a Teletubby. I don't know. It's got a little monkey. It's cute. But I want to make miniature things. Um, I bought a couple magazines, and I had a few already um, on my shelf of Amis. So, anyways, let's get to the yarn haul. I'm not going to keep you in suspense anymore some of it's on the table i may have to reach over to the table but the first thing i want i've been dying to open this up i bought some chunky monkey yarn have you guys ever ever um purchased chunky i can't remember who i ordered it from it says sheep sheep she's i can't remember it if I went on their website or not. I don't have the packing slip with me. It's it's long gone. Anyways. I was told this is really soft. Well, let's see if they're telling us. The it's recycled yarn. And it wasn't expensive, but it wasn't cheap. It was kind of in the middle. Look at that. Is that not pretty? That's orchid. And it's soft. It's yummy soft. Yeah. Let's see where an end is. See what kind of... If it's splitty. It kind of looks like um, Big Twist. Um, they're anti-pilling. <laughs> it is an anti-pilling. I wonder if it's going to be splitty. I don't know. I'm going to use it. But... Yeah, it might be. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's splitty. It is splitty because, look, my fingernail just went through it. Now it won't go through it now that I want to show you, but it did go through it here. Right here. Yeah. So, but anyways... The big twist that's splitty, it doesn't bother me because I use um, my dot hooks with it and it's perfect. Or no, was it? No, it wasn't my dot hooks. It was my prim. My prim. Sometimes if a yarn doesn't agree with a, a, you know, splits a lot, try another brand of hook if you have it. So, but yeah, I got one, two, three, four. I got five of these. An orchid. They're gorgeous. But yeah. And they're really soft. It's really soft and squishy. And then the next color. Well, let's get all the purples. The next purple I got is called Passion Fruit. Oh, it's so pretty. Hold on. I didn't read the specs, did I? I will now. Okay, this one's passion fruit. It's a chunky monkey anti-pilling. So it should be, I believe it's the number five. It says 100 grams, 116 meters. You can wash and dry. It even says iron. 100% premium acrylic anti-pilling. But it doesn't give me the number. I think it's a number five. It's a, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's a chunky monkey. So it is chunky yarn. It's 
so it's a number five. It's a, on the thin side of five. It reminds me of the Big Twist Chunky. It's a number five. But it's the colors are what got me. Look at these colors. They're so beautiful. Yep, yep, yep. And then... Okay, I got that. I got another purple here. This purple is... Deep Violet. I think I bought every color. I think. It was on sale. But yeah. Yeah, it is. Look at how splitty that is. You know, it, it doesn't have anything to grab it together. Because it's so slick. That's why. But isn't that pretty? That is deep violet. So. that pretty? And I got five of each color. I got a bag of each color. I think I might have bought it on Etsy. Etsy. I've been shopping on Etsy lately. And this is a yarn that I um, got off of Etsy. Um, it says it's a kit. It's Sierra... Uh, Peruvian yarn. It's cotton. So pretty. Roxanne. 100% Pima cotton. And the label on it is this product is plant is plant one tree. And where's my phone? Hold on, let me see if the receipt is in that box. I got a feeling it's not, though. Hold on. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> I bought this yarn from Jimmy Bean's Wool. I was looking up different yarn shops. Well, anyways, this wasn't really that cheap. It was $5. five you get five of them. You can get it for 5 bucks. So each bag was $25. So I spent $175. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I got seven bags. But um, I believe I've seen Jimmy Bean on Crystal's channel. So I was like, let me try it. You know, let me see what it is. Oh, I went to Joanne's today. All right, the next color that I have. My favorite. Oh, tell me if this is not gorgeous. Ooh. And it's soft. I'm going to make a blanket with this yarn. Yes, it's got a major squish factor. But yeah, it's nice. It's Sheep Cheese. Chunky Monkey Hot Pink. Yep, and it's 116 meters. So what is it in yards? Does it tell you in yards? No. It's 116 meters, so it's probably 125 yards, 120 yards. What did I do with that phone? Hey, Siri. How many yards is 116 meters? That would be 126.86 yards. You get that? 126.68 yards, so 126, 127 yards. Let's round it off to the highest denominator. I can't even say that word anymore. Alright. Next! I got three more colors. Can you guess what colors I got? <laughs> Let me grab this one. This is a color it's always, oh, I always get. <laughs> I don't want to destroy the bag. Because I want to be able to carry it back in the room. I'm a, I don't know. I might put it out here behind the cubbies. I got a, I got one hole. But I was going to put a project in there. But I don't need to. All right. Neon green. It's not really neon. I've got neon green. And it's, but it's a bright green. I like that. 
but it's squishy and soft. Do I have the bag? I was looking for this. I don't know, Sierra, I got this online, but I, I had to have gotten it off of Etsy. But this is that Pima cotton. I know I didn't pay more than $12 a skein. And I want to think I bought this as, it says kit, so. Let me see. There is 230 yards. It's a DK. Let's open it up. But yeah, so I bought something to make, you know, I bought some cotton for this summer. Oh, wow. It's really wrapped up tight. It's nice cotton. Because I do want to make a cotton top of some sort, whether it be a Cardi. It's a thin DK. It's almost like a number, number two. It's really thin. That's deceiving. That's not a DK by any means. Oh well. I'm not going to be able to put that back together right now. Let's get back to Jimmy Bean. <laughs> she sees. The next color is teal. Is that not pretty? It's bright and happy. 126 of squish. 126 yards. It's really squishy yarn. Whatever I make with it is going to be really soft and squishy. Whoops, there's a ball band. Their ball bands are made really, really flimsy. It's almost like onion paper on that, that Hank, this Sienna Hank, the Roxanne Pima Cotton. Look at this! Is that not pretty? They did not have royal blue. I would have got royal blue for the gators. You know, I always get blue. Gosh, it's so soft and squishy. Yeah, it was $25 for five skeins. It, I guess most of us pay that anyways, but usually they're bigger balls. But, you know, everything's gone up. Yeah. But, and it says, oh, the plastic's recyclable. But that's it for eat. the sheep cheese. I think I'm saying it right. If not, that's okay. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then I bought one more thing. I bought four of these. This is Baby Pima Fleck. Now, it feels like, like alpaca or something. It is. It's baby alpaca. 60% alpaca and 40 Pima cotton. It's really soft. It's fluffy. It's really, really, really. I bought it from the same people. I don't have a, um, maybe I have a receipt. I don't think I got a receipt in the bag for this. I'm pretty sure I bought this on Etsy, but isn't that pretty? Smells like wool. Yeah. That smells good to me, too. I, a lot of people like that smell. A lot of people hate it. I like the smell. But I grew up in a on a farm. A fa the smell of a farm just brings back so many fond memories. Because my dad, I used to bottle feed cows, calves. And I used to love the smell of that. It's a real sweet powder um, you get from the feed store. I love the smell of that milk. And I love bottle feeding those babies. They act like they've never eaten. They suck that, that giant bottle down in two seconds. Oh. 
But yeah, that that's all the yarn I, I didn't tell you. I'm terrible at giving specs. I apologize. 220 yards, it's the same. And, and it's fuchsia and ivory. It's chained. It's it's a chain spun. It's a light airy yarn. Can you see? My cameras aren't all that great. But very, very soft. Yeah. I had fun yesterday on the farm. You know, I, I I was watching editing the video. I didn't tell you all the animals they had, but back in the day, um they didn't have like tigers or bears, but they had exotic um they had like emus, ostriches, they had llamas. I was actually spit on by a llama the first time I went over there. I didn't expect that. Um sheep, goats, but they also had like albino animals, like an albino fox, an albino snake, an albino cat. They um, also had munchkin cats. Their legs were like this tall and they had the smushed face and they were, they looked like kittens, even though they weren't kittens because they were like munchkins, you know? They're so adorable. And um, Ernie, his son, also had um, raised... He's the one that raised the, the emus. And he also has an animal rescue. Still, I asked him, I said, you still rescuing animals? The last time I went over there, he probably had 200 dogs. And, he, you know, it's a no-kill, you know what I mean? He rescues them. And I believe he advertises online, trying to find them homes. There's this one dog. He was a bulldog. I wanted, he actually looked like um, Jennifer over at Cinnamon Stitches. Had his markings, Bentley's markings. Um, but he was a, he was a full-blooded pit bull, you could tell. But he was one of those really, he had the prettiest face. He was so adorable. And he, I, I took him out of the pen last, was it the year before last, I think. And I played with him for about an hour. I wanted to take him home. But I, I know, logically, I couldn't. You know, I I just, I have too many. I don't think a bull, I've had trouble with my boys fighting each other. I, I just, I'm, I don't think I'm strong enough to handle a bulldog. If I did get into trouble, like years ago, I could handle them. I am pretty much know how to break them up. Um, cause I mean, they have a good grip and it's hard to get them to let go once they get mad. Basically the biggest mistake people make when they break up a dog fight is they're screaming at the dog. Yeah, you know, and actually that makes them more excited and makes them more want to, want to go after something even more. The best thing you could ever do is hopefully there's another person around is one person holds the back legs of one animal and the other person holds the back legs of the other person. And you hold them, you know, you hold them to the point where they can't, they can't like rip each other apart, but they may have a grip on one another. But you hold them like with their hind legs in the air and don't say a word. You just sit there and wait. They'll let go. But if you're screaming and hollering, I had um, my my best friend. She um, her brother in law had passed away, and she took the dog his her his bulldog Tough. It was a white bulldog, and Tough did not like her Rottweiler. So you have two guard dogs coming from different households. They hated each other. Well, one day I go to her house. I didn't know this. And one day I go to her house and she, I see her. I went in her front door and I saw her out in the backyard at the grill. So I opened the door and I said, hey, girlfriend. And her dog went outside. She goes, no. And those dogs like, they locked up. And she's screaming and she's grabbing for the hose. And I, I said, Allison, Allison. And then I finally looked at her and I said, Allison, stop. 
grab his back legs. And she says, what? I said, grab his back legs. I grew up on a farm. So she did, and I grabbed the bulldog's back legs. And um, within 30 seconds, they let go because we didn't say anything. And she looked at me. She goes, you know how many times I broke them up and it's taken me like 20 minutes? She goes, that has never happened. I've never been able to break them up. She goes, I never knew that. I said, yeah. I said, your screaming just makes it worse. You just, you have to be very quiet and let them, you know, it, if it's quiet and they can't do anything, because once you grab, have them by the back legs, you, you know, they have no velocity of ripping skin or anything because we're right there. They may puncture the skin, but that's your lesson in breaking up dogs. <laughs> that That's the way I do it, and it's been very successful. Because I've, greyhounds fight, yeah, and, and they're all litter mates that fight because we have litter mates. Sometimes we have to break litter, litter mates up, the litters up, because some dogs are really timid, and those are the ones that get picked on. The ones that yelp get picked on. Something about screaming or yelping, it just, it fuels that fire. Yeah, if a dog yelps, in a pen, they all go after them. It's it's crazy, but it, it's real. So, but anyways, getting back to the farm. And he's rescued horses and stuff. But my husband didn't want to go over there. He's like, we need to go home. I had to go to the grandkids and watch them, you know, find Easter eggs. Joey put Easter eggs out twice. <laughs> but, um... We ended up going out to dinner last night. We went to a nice restaurant, Conestoga's here. Not Conestoga's. It's called The Great Outdoors. It's a gorgeous restaurant. If you ever go on Google, Google The Great Outdoors in High Springs. And I believe they'll show you pictures. They kind of, everything they have in the store, pictures and stuff, is related to the springs that we have here in High Springs, Jenny Springs. A lot of the pictures are in the caves down there in Jenny Springs. But it's a beautiful, and they've got hand-carved wood canoes hanging in the restaurant. They're gorgeous. Gator, um, it's alligator skin. Um, the, the booths, it's, I don't think it's real alligator skin, but it looks like it. It's just... The decorating in that place is just beautiful. It's outdoorsy. It's beautiful. And they have an outdoor, I think on Friday and Saturday nights, they have a band. Sometimes it's a one-man band, but they have like a tiki bar and uh, out there. And then they've got um, tables and tents. And there's a pavilion out there. You can eat dinner out there. It's, you know, this time of year is beautiful out there to eat. We ate inside because Joey had the kids. He didn't want them running around. They'd start running around out there. So, but Joey's so funny. He goes, Mom, did I ever, like, was I hard to handle? I go, at times, he goes, was I hyper? I go, not really, not to me. <laughs> I'm hyper, you know. I said, you were a good kid. And he kept asking me, like, issues, certain issues, like sitting still, having meltdowns and stuff like that. I said, no, you never had meltdowns. Um, I said, you were mean to your sister. Um, but other than that, I think that's kind of, it may be normal in a lot of families, but, um, and they weren't friendly until they were adults. Yeah. It broke my heart to see them not get along for the longest time. And I've, I've had a few meltdowns about it, <laughs> but it's better now. He's a dad and you know, and she's grown up. She's not as annoying as she used. She used to be annoying to her brothers. And she would annoy the crud out of them. But it's all better now. But I was getting, getting back to the farm. Timmy wanted to go home. 
you know, he's like, let's go, Nance. And I'm like, I went and told Ernie, I said, we can't go over to your house. He said, not for a few minutes. I said, no, he's in the truck waiting for me. I said, next year I'll take my own car <laughs> when I come over here. Because I enjoy that. I enjoy animals. And I love to just see, he doesn't have all the animals that he used to. He has mostly rescues now. But, yeah, he. the first time I ever held a kangaroo, it was in a pouch, in a playpen, in his living room. And the playpen had these little pouches all around it. And there were babies in the pouches. And I said, why aren't they with the mama? He goes, I bottle feed them. He goes, um, I take them away because then they'll make babies again quicker. And I, and I just raised the babies. And I was like, really? And they're like tiny kangaroos. And then he had some Arizona, I guess it's Australia. They're from Australia. It looks like a... It's a, it's a brown animal and it's got a long nose. It's not an ant eater, but it's also one of those exotic animals. But he had all kinds of um, foxes, um, all different breeds, beautiful foxes. Some I've, you, I've never seen before until I went over there. I can't think of all the animals. What else? And they had like parrots and... Um, the big parrots, the, um, what are they called? You know what I'm talking about. They're the biggest parrot that live a hundred years, but, and then he also had cockatoo, cockatoos. Yeah. The aviary was taken down, I noticed. They had a bird aviary, it's gone. It was attached to the house. The back, their back patio was an aviary of beautiful birds. But yeah, the kids, the only thing they have now is cows and peacocks. I asked him, I said, do you have any hens? Like, do you have any babies you wanna get rid of? He said, I only have one hen and he had her penned up. I don't know why. I don't know, maybe because she's laying on eggs, but yeah, he said that, that um, there's no more hens. I wonder why, you know, they used to have you, they had white peacocks. They were gorgeous. Oh, you know what another bird they had? Black swans with the red ring around the neck. Gorgeous. Um, you guys saw the picture where the cows were? Well, beyond those cows, there was a, a cement kind of like a pond, and it had an aviary. He had them in that pen. They were beautiful. And... Uh, yeah, they were talking about Uncle Irwin. They, he has these peach trees. They're huge. And orange, he has orange trees. And he feeds the animals. They feed, they used to feed a lot of the animals that. But the cows love oranges. She was telling me. And I was like, I want to see it. <laughs> They're so cute. Cows are. They don't have any more horses. They they had a ton of miniature horses. They have regular horses too. But yeah. They don't even have any eggs. He used to hatch like in the in his office. He would he'd say, Come on in here, Nancy, because he knows how much I love the animals. We kind of connected. And um he would show me what was what he hatched. He had like chickens and he had he had, oh, one day they brought in a baby llama into the house and I got to bottle feed the baby. So stinking cute. I don't know. It wasn't a llama. It was a uh, alpaca. It was so cute. He was a little baby. He was black. Beautiful. Yeah, they had everything. I really enjoyed it out there. But... Uncle Irwin passed away, and Aunt Margie, his wife, she's she can't take care of all those animals, and the boys have their own animals, so they, they're cleaning the farm up. They live on the farm, you know, just further down the road. I think he has probably a couple thousand acres. 
probably. I know that he owns like a, most of the land on 441 in Micanopy. Yeah. But yeah, I had fun. Well, that's all I have really for, for tonight. I wanna continue to work on this. It's getting a little late. Hold on. Okay. It's getting a little late and I, I need to get to bed on time. I'm, I'm taking sleeping meds. Hopefully they helped me last night. I went to bed on time. I was up this morning at nine o'clock. I was awake at eight and I got out of bed at nine, which is very unusual for me here in the past six months. So I'm gonna have to just, it, it's not its not like an Ambien or anything like that. It's, it's um, Trazodone. I used to take it and I stopped taking it. I don't know why I stopped taking it. It's because I take it, they gave me enough, because I take so many pills. I don't know why I stopped taking it, but I never got the prescription refilled and I got it filled. And I took it last night and I was, yeah, I was tired too. It was a long day, but had a great time. Made some memories. Yeah. But, and all my babies are sleeping. My fur babies are all doing good. Archie's not getting up and moving around a whole lot, but I, because it hurts on his joints hurt. But I give him pain medication. And Zeusy does, Zeus sleeps a lot too. Zeus is hard of hearing. I have to nudge him. Let's go outside. Because <laughs> he can't hear anything. Today I came home from Gainesville. I came in the house and they were all sleeping. Usually they're barking and meeting me or greeting me at the door. They were all sleeping. I walked in and I kind of like, where are they? And I peeked over the shelves here and they were all sleeping. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna wake them. So I closed the door real quiet. I had lunch. I got to eat lunch by myself with no interrupt, with no nudges. They usually nudge me. Mommy, I want a French fry or I want this or I want, you know. But I saved them a little bit. Each, each one of them got a bite of my Chick-fil-A. I hit Chick-fil-A today. And I did go to, I went to Michael's today and I, um, I bought an Amigurumi book. And then I went to Joanne's. I don't care for that. You know what? I did video Joanne's. Maybe I'll squeeze it into this video. Um. They started playing music, and I, if, I, if I have to voice over, I'm not going to show it. It's so annoying. <laughs> but Joe, Michael's, they really didn't, they didn't have anything I needed. Um, but their um, loops and thread acrylic, that soft value acrylic, is really stocked up. I was surprised. And um, they still had all those Karen cakes. Um but I don't need any. I bought two different, you guys saw the colors I bought. I'm not gonna buy any more unless I use that other. But um, yeah, I just bought a, a Amigurumi book and then Joanne's I bought, they had 30% off on their Amigurumi and I got an additional 15% off. I was able to use my um, professional because I was in the medical field I was licensed. Uh, I had I get another fifteen percent off on everything I buy at Joanne's. I was able to use that for the books. Usually you can't use coupons for their books, but it worked. He scanned. He goes, let me scan it and try it, and it worked. He goes, it worked. And um, what else? I couldn't use that twenty percent off at Michaels for the books because they don't books. They don't use coupons. There's a they're excluded from coupons. So. What else? There's a bag right there. What is that bag? There's another bag of yarn. Hold on. What? Is, oh, I know what that is. It's nothing spectacular. I think I might have shown it to you guys. 
No, because it's not open. I bought this yarn from, oh yeah, it's open. I ordered some more of this yarn for a project and I ended up using, no, I, oh, it was for that lavender blanket. I ended up not needing what I ordered. But this is nice yarn. It's Brava and it's their bulky weight. It's not, uh, this is what that reminds me of, this. But this is a lot softer. But Brava yarn, if you ever run into a sale, it's nice yarn. I love this one particular gray. It's a number five, but it's like a small five. It's Dove Heather, I love it. Love it. So, but, well, I'm going to get off of here and maybe in the next video I'll have, I'll show you my progress on my cardigan. I did start over. I was just like, this, this is, it wasn't going well. I was struggling because I was doing it backwards, but now they're all put together properly. <laughs> I'm joining us you know, joining as I go kind of thing. And it's working out perfect. So, and I'll do the trim <sighs> probably, probably last. And I got the middle square attached. It's perfect. So, because on each side I have the little squares. And so I don't have that big gap on each side. I don't know what I was thinking. For those of you that saw, I, I did something really stupid. I put this together and then I had the metal, the middle thing. And I was going back and forth with the, um, or no, going around and around on the big square. And I had like a gap on each side. I'm going to put grannies on each side of it and it's perfect the size is perfect it's like that one there so but it's gray I use gray instead of white I sometimes I wonder why I didn't use white but it's okay I guess I wanted to do something different I do like gray so but yeah, I don't have to make any more grannies. I just got to put it all together and make the sleeves. And the, um, but I am going to do this pattern for the, uh, here, the cuffs and the trim. It's you chain even number and then you do single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. Then you turn and then you do what was it? Two. Now I've already forgotten. Was it half double crochet? Single. No, it was it was double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one. And then you do the single crochet in the chain space. But this is what it ends up looking like. <laughs> I had to think about that. I don't know. I, I thought I, I kind of like that. And I'm going to go around the collar and I'm going to do the wristbands. Something different. You know, I always do the ribbing. And the ribbing I do, I'm pretty good at it. It looks pretty. I just want something different. So, that's what I'm going to do today anyways. That's what's up here today. <laughs> Make a change tomorrow. <laughs> so. All right, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I love you all, and I will see you tomorrow. I'll get back online I've, now that the holiday's over. <laughs> Bye, y'all.